Hello everybody, Alexander here, back with more Coral Island. So we're on day three, so we're gonna get on to just kind of exploring and getting some stuff done, okay? Alright. <laughs> right, rainy day, which means I'm not gonna need my watering can, and I can just organize that. What's in the mailbox? Hello Alexander, looking for a way to pass the time, or maybe you want to earn some extra coins while waiting for your crops to grow. When you have a moment, come visit us at the beach shack. We have some welcome gifts for you, Sunny and Eleanor. Okay. Alright, you got it, man. Heck yeah. Alright. Now, I'm assuming that... Where are you guys at? Ah, yeah, Sunny's Beach Shack. Okay, yeah. And I'm assuming it's a 9 o'clock kind of thing, so I don't need to, like, rush, rush getting down here, you know? Just take my time. Now, for anybody who is kind of, like, just tuning in for the super chill gameplay, I really do appreciate it. And I would like to remind everybody to watch the episodes on this channel all the way through to the end, as it does help tremendously. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you've enjoyed your time here today, and remember to hit that notification bell and tell your friends. We're trying to build a beautiful community here, and we cannot do so without you guys. Alright? Now, I'm trying my best to, uh, not only give good gameplay of games, but, you know, pick things that I not only enjoy playing, but want to share, like, maybe my first experiences with them. Which is part of why I picked this, right? Because I have a tendency to... To, like, heavily vet a game before I put it on the channel. And this time around, I was like, you know, it's a farming sim, right? It's, th there's no way that there's anything in this game that is, you know, gonna have issues on YouTube or anything, so... Figured I'd just go into it blind, you know? Um, man, it is really pretty. The town is, like, insane. And Wednesday, this is closed, right? Yeah. Man, he really is just like Pierre, isn't he? Just closed on Wednesday. I wonder if there's a way to fix that later, maybe. Eleanor, what's going on? Welcome to the community. Thanks, I appreciate that. <laughs> Wait. Aren't I supposed to be meeting with you any second now? And you're just, like, dipping off into the distance? Yeah, you literally just walked past me. God, cutscene magic, am I right? What? Sonny, we can't do that to the new farmer. The poor thing will get overwhelmed if we give both things at once. Okay, then we'll start with the fishing. Who doesn't like fishing? I love fishing, my guy. Maybe it wouldn't be such a bad idea to... <laughs> yeah, what's going on, guys? Welcome, a new face at last. Alexander, isn't it? Yeah, man. <laughs> Jim, Alexander is here. Nice to meet you. Hmm. Alright, Jim. The strong, silent type, are we? I can respect it. Nice to finally meet you, Alexander. Come have a seat. We were just discussing your welcome gifts. Gifts, as in plural? Okay, what you got for me? It's fine if you prefer to stand. Gotta keep those leg muscles strong. Yeah, yeah, we do. Speaking of leg muscles, I have the perfect workout for you. Catching bugs. Sit, sit, Alexander. Uh, you got it. <laughs> Alright. So how's farm life so far? Nothing I can't handle. That's the spirit. Resilient youngster reminds me a lot about myself. Settle a debate for us, Alexander. Which is better? Uh, fishing or fun and ever exciting bug catching? Very biased. Okay. <laughs> My wife, the competitive ladybug. Yeah. And it would be rude to not side with the lady. <laughs> thank good. Or thank goddess. Oh, that's an interesting. Okay. Looks like I have a fellow bug enthusiast. Yeah, you sure do. That's a very interesting, like, turn of phrase for the island. I wonder if there actually is, like, a reigning deity. 
Well, in any case, here's our welcome gift for you. A fishing rod and a bug net. Hell yeah. Awesome. You can sell your catch or donate it to the museum. Looks like they're gonna need it. Good luck. Okay, so... Probably just like Stardew Valley in the sense that you're gonna want to keep at least one of everything to donate. Right? But uh, after that, you just pawn them, I would imagine. Uh, Alright, yeah. Uh, Let's have a look around, shall we? Diving. Okay, see, normally I'm not a fan of, like, underwater activities, but... Because of the nature of the game, it's like, there's no actual problems. It's quite literally designed to not be a threatening situation. Flame scallop, okay. Ooh, it's a fireplace. There's probably some kind of summer festival that takes place down here. Alright, yeah, let's have a look around. Why not? Right? My goodness, the... The, like, pollution is super intense. My like, god dang. Okay. Uh, how am I looking on inventory space? I have a little bit. Oh, okay. Alright. Cool. Oh, it's got a similar animation to Animal Crossing. Oh, okay. Alright, so... That bar is a struggle mechanic, right? So what I'm doing, because it looked like it was receding the minute the struggle started. Oh, that's cool. So what I did was, uh, I was rapid tapping X through the struggle bar, okay? Um, and I, I guessed it doing that because it looked eerily similar to, like, the Animal Crossing fishing animation. Ooh. Man, I'm really excited to, like, interact with the magic stuff in the game. It looks really cool. It's the farm over there. Let's pick this flower real quick. Nice. Um... I'm just gonna make another one of these, because the flowers don't seem to have any other use. And I don't think I can give them to the museum, but I'm also not sure. Because I know there is a museum, because I saw it was closed. I want to go try and maybe talk to the guy, actually. Okay, it's up past, like, the boardwalk over here. It's looking like the fastest way to get to where I'm trying to go. Okay. Yeah, Coral Island Town sign. That is really neat. Okay. Oh, I'm going. I like that I basically have infinite dashes. It is quite nice. Um, oh, it's over to the, the left. I'm still learning where everything is. Give me the flower. I like that there's these just, like, what look like they're corrupted sacred sites, just kind of scattered around. Okay, it's down here. Really pretty town, though. Another flower. Perfect. Go over here. And then we're gonna go try to talk to everybody else if we can. Oh. What's going on, man? I like the emotes above his head. Oh no. Oh, he's a sad boy. What's going on, buddy? What happened? Nope, they haven't magically returned. That is not how things work, man. What's going on, bud? Oh, hello. You're Alexander, right? I'm sorry, you caught me at a bad time. Yeah, it's fine, man. Just look at this, it's so empty. My life's work. Yeah, what's... Sorry, man. 
Thanks, Alexander. I worked so hard to fill the museum. Well, it wasn't completely filled up, but at least it's not empty like this. What happened? Not gonna lie, when Millie told me the town was going to sell all of our collection, I was furious. It's not a feeling that I'm used to. The one thing I was good at that made me feel useful is going to be taken away from me. I couldn't stand it. But deep down, I knew the town really needed the extra fun to clean the oil spill. There wasn't much I could do about it. Man, this oil spill seemed to have affected a lot of things. Which makes sense, island community. So I went back to my folks to cool down and think about what I'm going to do next. That's when I realized I had two options. Am I going to continue the pity party, or am I going to rebuild the museum's collection now that the town isn't in an immediate crisis? There you go, buddy. Yeah. Work through it, move forward, rebuild. That's right, I'm going to rebuild the collection. That's the spirit. By the way, Alexander, I've heard some things about you. People tell me you're good at finding things. Now, I'm not bad at it myself, but... I can certainly use that skill of yours. If you find anything interesting, why don't you bring it over? Uh, yeah, yeah, am I, am I gonna get paid? Of course. We'll have a little something for you as compensation to make it worth your time. Alright, yeah, you got it, curator guy. So what do you say, Alexander? Wanna help me fill the museum with the treasures of the island? You got it, dude. That's what I like to hear. Cool. Alright. Yeah, I, I probably have some stuff. I have a thing specifically. There, you can have my fish. You can have the fish. Give me the money. And then that's just harvest your first crop and gift the flowers to somebody. Okay. Now, I haven't found a townsperson that I like enough to want to give a present to yet, right? Because I'm not done meeting everybody. What's going on over here? Okay, construction is still happening, so I can't mess with that. That's the blacksmith's shop. Um... Ooh. What's this? Oh, it's the school. Oh, it's neat. Well, that's cool. That's super futuristic. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, super small island community. 100% makes sense. Can you imagine what life would be like if it could rain indoors? It'd be the darndest thing. Yeah. Yeah, I imagine it would cause a ridiculous amount of problems. God, this is really well designed for like a kid's school. It's very well put together. But then again, I haven't seen a single building or anywhere really in the game yet where I'm like, why is this designed this way? This doesn't make any sense. A taco truck. Of course it's parked outside the school, you crafty bastard. Alright, what's over here? Ooh. Fancy house? Or just regular house? Regular house. Oh, it's... It's very homey, actually. What's going on? So the rumors were true after all. Welcome to town. We've got a new scientist in town last month, too. Can't remember his name, though. <laughs> You've got to be the person who owns the taco truck. There's no way around that. Anyway, I hope you like it here. Yeah, me too, man. I dig your town. I like that I can dash indoors. I think that's pretty great. Alright. Yeah, let's have a look around. Kinda keep exploring a little bit. Before it gets too late in the day. Whose house is this? It looks very earthy. Ooh, pet. No, let me pet the doggo. You shouldn't go in. You know. Yeah, because I just wanted to pet the dog, but it's being evasive. Okay. Alright. I like your house. God damn. It's very, it's very earthy. I like it. Very, uh, very interesting design. I really hope that I can decorate different, like, parts of my house to maybe look like different things. Because this is cool. 
right and i want to be able to make my house look like something like that maybe maybe not this playthrough but it would be cool to be able to do it whoa okay all right there's clearly some stuff i'm gonna have to get done here if i want to see everything what's this Ooh, it's a temple or at least a shrine of some kind Poison tree thingy. Okay. Yeah, man, the sound design is also really good. Like, when I walk on wood, it sounds like I'm walking on wood. It's really well done. I like it. I have a feeling I'm going to play a lot of this. I'm going to try to try to record a good bit of it, if not all of it. What is all this? Oh. Oh boy. Wonder what these swirling flowers are. Man, this shrine has seen better days, that's for sure. God dang. Alright, I'm sure there'll be something to to do with that. Something involving it, you know. Let's have a look over here. Oh, it's a... what is this? Festival area? Yeah, festival area. Yeah, Stardew had a couple of those, like, areas you just couldn't go because, you know, festivals. And that's fine. Oh, uh, Got him! Got a ground beetle. Okay. Perfect. Oh, uh, what's my inventory? Alright, I'm gonna go and deposit some more stuff in the museum, and maybe I'll find somebody to talk to on the way, who knows? Have I been in here yet? I don't think I have. Whose house is this? Oh, it's really nice. Ooh. God, okay, alright. Alright, 10 out of 10 on, like, the, the villager house designs. I'm just really hoping that as the game progresses, I have access to to similar decoration options, you know what I mean? I'm really hoping that I get, like, the same decorative freedom with my stuff. Okay. It's over here. It's a loud... Oh, uh, you know, it wouldn't have mattered if I caught it. My inventory is full. I need to go put some more stuff in the museum is what I need to do. Still learning where everything is, though. Um, are there people at the tavern? Oh, ooh, I like the outside of this building. It's in here. Oh, it's really cool. I was in basic training, they made us camp out for three days in weather like this. A test of endurance and the ability to stay cooped up in small space with a bunch of people. So, your... Your clothes suggest either Air Force or Space Force, one of the two. Interesting. Pablo's busy, that's fine. Can I, like... Just waiting for someone to step up and start singing. Okay. Can I go over here? I can. Hey, Betty. How lovely to see a new face around here. You can call me Betty, dear. I. Okay. Cool. Well, this spell last year, tourists hardly come anymore. Yeah, that would make sense. You have a very nice home. Ah, oh, wow. It, uh... The rooms give, like, like, Sims vibes. In terms of just how well put together everything is, and it's quite nice. What's going on, man? There's this pink tree next to the hot spring. Know what it is? Cherry, baby? It's pretty, but I'm worried the petals will clog up the drain. My drain. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Um, man. Oh, wow. God 
the aesthetic is just so good. I like it a lot. Wait, what? Can I just interact with this for no reason? Okay, yeah. Alright. Opens at 8 a.m., closes at 18, so it's open an hour later than most places in town. It's good to know. Is there anybody, like, down on the beach that I can talk to? Probably not, but I'm gonna look anyway. Yeah, no, it's getting kind of late as why. Well. Yeah, well, you know, I haven't met anybody that I want to give those flowers to yet, so just not gonna. Um, I do need to go and drop off this stuff at the museum before heading back home. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. My goodness, it is just such a pretty town. Oh, hey, Millie. What's going on? What's up? Okay. Really productive day overall. Awesome. Alright. Yep, nope, and you just sell anything that you're not immediately using, right? Interesting. Okay. Yeah, and we'll, we'll decorate the, like, farm some later, right? Right now we are just getting adjusted to... To living on the island and whatnot. Man, that shortcut is really nice. It saves a lot of time, actually. Oh, let's put these in here. I don't know what I can do with these shells or whatever, but I'm gonna keep at least one of each. Seems like the play, right? Going here. We're gonna grab both of our tools. I gotta remember to go open the treasure chest. I, I forgot to do that. And I should not keep forgetting to do that. My god. It's so nice. Uh, I really like the game. Like, so far, it's really good. Okay. We're gonna go in here. And, uh, yeah. It's going real good. <laughs> Weather forecast. Tomorrow's gonna be sunny. Okay. Coral stars. <laughs> Passion and music brings these five. Oh, it's it's K-pop. Okay. <laughs> Your representative. Hey, yep. Five girls will start their fight in the world for C-pop. I'm just gonna let this run. <laughs> Now, without further ado, Coral Stars, please introduce yourselves. Star in your eyes. Hello, we are the Coral Stars. As you can see, they're very determined to debut. Leader, any words for our producers? Yes, producers, thank you for giving us a chance to showcase our skills. We will not let you down. Okay. Very good. Next week, we'll have our first choreography lesson, C-pop veterans, so be sure to stay tuned. Okay. The hat you should quit before wasting everyone's time. Hey, that is rude. Coral stars are now facing the harsh truth. Can they weather the storm? Interesting. Alright, yep, and that's gonna do it for the day and the episode. I'll be seeing you all again real soon. Alexander, signing out.